Hello and welcome to part three. I call her Leah. She's called the, I think she's called the Tattoo Girl. Um, this is in the book uh, Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. And so we've done so far, as you can see, the skin was the uh, first episode. And then the second episode we did the hair and part of the headpiece. Okay, now this is the third episode and we're going to do this headpiece with the pretty flowers and we'll see if I gotta see how long the video goes, you know, because I don't want them to be too long. So, okay, um, I started just, I just did a little practice on this flower right here. So, um, I'm gonna continue with doing them and I'll show you kind of how I picked those colors. So, these are the colors that we're, let's, let's pull out, okay? So, let's do, um, PC942. This is yellow ochre. And then hot pink which is PC993 hot pink and then let's pull out the process red out of your Prismacolor collection hopefully you have one because they're awesome if not you can just kinda pick colors that are similar dark purple so these are just the you know similar colors just get a nice pink a yellow a kinda like a purpley red and a dark purple alright now here's what we're gonna do first let's start with a little bit of the hot pink and leave the white um, in the middle of the like area here just cuz just cuz <laughs> alright so just cuz I like you know as you know to be very dramatic and have that awesomeness so I had to take the song out of the background because YouTube kept saying I can't use that song so now I'm kind of bummed. Don't have any music going, but oh well. All right, so now let's take the uh, process red and just kind of go more towards the tip and leave a little bit of the hot pink showing, but go over it a little bit because remember, Mama likes layering. Layers, layers are good. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's take this uh, mulberry, okay, which is, oh, I mean the dark purple, sorry, this is dark purple. And we want to put it just right on the edge, edges, and the tip, you know, to give it a nice, just a nice definition to the tip. And that's all I'm just right on the edge there. Okay. Now, watch this magic happen. Now we're going to take this, this yellow here and put the yellow over it. Because you know yellow and red make an orange. And these are kind of purpley oranges. So that's the effect we're going to get. But look, isn't that pretty? How it, how it just instantly, it's kind of like magic, huh? How it turns. But that is what sets us apart. And that's what we're after. We want beautiful coloring and unique colors. And so by blending and layering and, and all that, that's how we get that. I think it's so cool how it just turns color. I'm going to do these, this, this, just remember these colors. So write them down in your little swatch book. Because I am going to be using these again in a couple of these other flowers. Alright, so I'm just going to do the same thing again here. Put in some hot pink. I hope you're having fun coloring along. Um, my Facebook page, it's called Extreme Coloring. Um, and if you'd love it, actually, I would love it if you post your completed pictures. Because maybe you've changed it up a little bit, you know, and you didn't do it exactly the same. Or if you did do it the same, I would love to see your style and how the hair came out and how, just so you could show off your beautiful work. I would love that. So please go to my Facebook page. And I really want to get that Facebook page going because I would like to do Facebook Live on there. So we could color all together live. I think that would be really fun. So go to my Facebook page, please. Just look for Extreme Coloring. And then uh, my name is Lisa Brando. And then we can get a nice group going. I really want to do that. So let's get all my... 
people that are following and we could have a nice really cool little nice group wouldn't that be fun all right now for the middle of these things let's put in uh uh yeah maybe the blue huh i'm thinking this blue non-photo blue let's put in that and just put them in the middle here mm, oh i'd be normal i like to have some really cool colors in this one okay so there we have it and I'm gonna let's do the same thing over here on these flowers but for the sake of time well I don't know you, you guys seem to be liking it that I just keep going so if you're gonna go I guess I'll go too so let's just color in these flowers because then you could just do it with me right because if I go then you're gonna feel all alone we don't want that so I'll just stay and we'll just color together. Okay, just putting in the pink on the tips. I'm still sick. Boy, this cold just won't leave me. It's terrible. It's well over. Gosh, going on two weeks. And it's, I still have my cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. But, I don't know. I've been taking some Zycam. Or, I don't know. Just one of those lingerers. Oh, well, my whole household has this stupid thing. The whole Christmas holiday. Well, no, I actually started in New Year's. More like New Year's, but it's no fun. Okay, and we come around, there, there we go, get the pink in there, now I'm going to do this, uh, the process red, right on the edges here, well, a little bit further than just the edges, because we're going to put that, uh, the darker color on the very, very tippy tips. Just follow along with me. I'm just going at a normal pace. This isn't, this is kind of, this is just my normal pace. Just. Putting it on here. You know, I play piano. I'm wondering if. And maybe I should just record a little bit of just some relaxing music and then I could just play my own piano music in the background, huh? Because that's what they're getting me on YouTube. Um, I'm, j I'm just playing uh, some relaxing piano music that I found on on the internet, you know, that they, they I don't know, it runs like 15 hours of them. But they won't, I don't know, they keep saying copyright claim so I can't uh, use it. But that's the way it goes. But now it's just so quiet in here. I gotta figure something out. Okay, so that just on the tip, see? That really brings out the edges of these beauties. Yeah, you know, most people, they just will just do that and then stop without adding all these layers. But see, that's not what we're, we're about, right? We're about perfection and about making it, I mean, having fun, obviously, but just we want our work to stand out, right? Because that's our deal. We want to be better and we want to, you know, get great at our coloring. And to do that, you got to take these, just this, these little few extra steps. They really make a difference. As you can see, and it's not that hard, it's just, it's all part of the fun in creating your masterpiece. So, okay. Thank you for all your comments. You guys make me feel so good. I feel very encouraged to keep making these. But definitely, when you like and subscribe, I need to get, I don't I need a thousand, and then I might videos will start doing better okay and then now let's put in our magic with that yellow we'll put the magic in let's 
see that? Look at that. Looks so cool when he put this in. It's just like a, it just transforms. I have a couple other combinations that do that too, so we'll make sure we do that. I do a, a yellows over the, over blues for some, for leaves. Maybe I'll do some in this, in this one. Okay. And then, because yellow over blue will make it the green, as you know. And then I also do it really good with um, a purple. I take a, because it's hard to get a really, really rich royal purple. And so, like if I do a, a crown, I love doing crowns and gems. So if I do that, I, I have a little magic trick for that too. So just keep following me and I'll teach you all kinds of cool stuff. All right, so now I'm going to put these little blue little insides to this flower. Okay. There we go. Oh wow, let's take it, let's go out a little bit and see how she's coming along. Oh boy, isn't she pretty, 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 pretty. All right, now let's, um, I'm, we're gonna let's stay up here, I think, what we'll do. Let's stay up in this area here. So, uh, let me get the colors out here for um, for this flower. I guess we'll work on this flower here. So let me kind of figure out a little bit what colors I need, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think what we'll do is um, let's do pull out a lavender, okay, and then keep our yellow ochre out that we had before, and then let's keep our royal blue out that we had before. Hey. Didn't want that to happen, that's okay. Take it off there. Okay, then um, let's do, um, let's just keep all these colors out, okay? It was all the same colors we were using before, which was the process red, and then we have the dark purple, the hot pink, non-photo blue, yellow ochre, and lavender. Okay, now let's see here what we should do. Let's base Let's start with this uh, pretty lavender color, okay? So, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off this little blue because that's annoying me right now. I dropped my pencil on it. And, oh, by the way, this black um, mar um, eraser that I'm using here, this is a scholar pencil, and it removes pretty well for the most part. Um, the colored pencil. The other erasers don't really um, work as good, so just a little tipster for you. Okay, now let's um, put in this pretty lavender color, and I think we're gonna just stick to um, let's see here. Let's uh, let's stick to kind of this right side here. So just kind of blend it a little bit like this. And let me leave that area kind of white in here. And let's do that. Keep the light coming from that side. From the left side. And then just so kind of follow me and just go around like this. Okay. And then uh, maybe just come down, just so it's more of a gradual little effect. Okay, and we'll do the same over here. There, is that a little bit better? I wanted to get a little closer for you. Okay, now we'll just come in here. Yeah, I really can't wait to do the Facebook Lives. I think that that will be a lot of fun because then, when, you know, when we're live, you could chat, you can ask questions, and so we'll get to that eventually. Just got to get to get enough people to go onto my Facebook page, and I'll be able to do that. All right, and then I'm going to stick over here, and then we'll put some right over this area. 
like so. Okay. And we'll just keep that going, that whole This is where we stay to the bottoms and keep that top. We're going to put some yellow in there, just like our little magic trick, a yellowy orange type thing. Now, you know, these are just suggestions of these colors I'm using. Obviously, they're just suggestions, obviously. Pick whatever color you want. I'm just showing you this way, but if you are following me along, but it's interesting if you if you chose a different color, I would love to see it. If you like, did these in blue, or if you did them white magnolias, it could be anything. It's almost fun for me to go print out another copy of it and do it, do the same girl in, in a whole different type of a, you know, whole different type of a look. Okay. Do that with my mandalas, you know. I can make one in one color scheme and another in a whole different other scheme. Okay, and then let's see. This looks like a, that's a regular leaf down here, it looks like, so I'm going to color that purple. Okay, now uh, let's take, um, let's see, let's take out this one, the process red color, and let's just put a little bit in the inside, same way we did that, the little flowers. Just a little on the inside and then maybe a little on here. Gotta give it our layering and our beautiful definition so we could be great little artists. We gotta put in the work. It's really not that hard, but it really makes a big difference. Okay. Let's see how it's coming along? Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, I turn my page, and you know what else I'm noticing too? I'm getting crap all on my picture. See, like, I don't know if you can see that, but I can, and I don't like it. So, well, you know what, I'm going to do background anyways, so, but still, I like to work neat, and I am... Yeah, we're going to do this back background in a real pretty color, so it doesn't really matter, but still, but still, I'm going to put a nice paper down here. It makes it feel neater when you're working neater, too. I mean, not neater, it just makes you feel, you know, good when everything's clean around you. So we'll just put a nice picture down there. Okay, and then let's do over here. I have the best smelling candle on right now, and I don't know what, it's like a, like a, I don't know, fruity, really, really fruity um, candle, it smells so good. I got it at Ross, I went down to Ross last night and got a couple little goodies. I love Ross, oh, they have the best stuff in there. You walk in just for a couple things and then you walk out with so much more because they have such cute stuff in the that little home goods section where all the decor is. I found some really cute little um a, a diamonds and then I and you know what? I left there's this big big diamond. It's like a paperweight, but it's a diamond like a clear glass and it's all cut like a diamond. It's so cool looking. And I, I left it there because I'm thinking, ah, I didn't really want to spend. It was like $9.99. And it was big. It's like like 50 carats or something. And I uh, and I just keep thinking about that stupid diamond. So I'm going to go back today and go get it. My husband was so sweet. He, he, he was going to take me back last night. We got in the car. We went down there. And they closed at 8 o'clock. I don't know why they did that. but So he said he'll take me today. It's weird, little stupid things like that, you know. Like I really need a 
$10 diamond, but it's really cool. Normally I have all my diamonds on when I'm doing the these colorings, and I have my nails all pretty, but I don't know. Since I've been sick, I just haven't felt like it. I don't have my hair extensions in. I don't, I'm just sort of just kicking back. Today's a Sunday. Um, it's actually the 7th right now of January, if you're watching this. So that's when it is when I'm filming this. Oh, I, I, I got another cool thing there too. I got a little, uh, like a notebook. They have the cutest little notebook thing. This blank paper with some, this one had some butterflies on it and some other things. And I, I use it for my swatches, like, because I watch people's videos too. And then if they came up with some new color combination that I didn't know about it, I'll draw like a little, like a shape of a leaf or something. And then, and then I'll put the color, the colors in there. And then right next to it, write down, you know, what the colors are. That way I can keep and keep remembering what color I used. All right, and um, let's put just a little bit of hot pink towards the middle. Not, not a lot. I'm just going to put just a little because when you go over it with the yellow, that hot pink really turns into a nice purple. So just kind of go over it right in here just really lightly good morning my son just came in let's see what time is it here it is right now 10 o'clock in Arizona in the morning and he was sick too how you feeling Justin worse than yesterday worse yeah. oh my gosh he's got it too well, he's 32 32 years old he's a good boy I've had my moments with him when he was growing up, but he's doing good now. I'm happy he's here. He takes good care of Mama. He takes out my trash for me. He goes to the store for me. He does all kinds of stuff. He's I love him so much. His name is Justin. Okay, now let's take this. Um, oh, and by the way, in case you don't know, I'm Marlon Brando's daughter. Surprise! So. Martin Brando is the big actor, and uh, hence my name, Lisa Brando. But my son looks just like, um, yeah, this is the dark purple, okay? Uh, my son looks just like uh, my dad did at that age. And, um, and also my mom, I don't know how old you are or whatever, but my mom played, a, this is an old show, um, played Helga. It's on a show called Hogan's Heroes. She was Colonel Clink's secretary, the really pretty blonde with um, braids in her hair. My mom was the first one on that show. And yeah, she did. She had an affair with Bob Crane, the whole bit. My life was interesting, to say the least. See how nice now that purple looks in there? So just put some in here. Uh, yeah, sometimes I think people get surprised when they, I mean, they see Lisa Brando, but I don't think they put the two and two together. But yeah, Marlon Brando is my dad, and he lived right next to Jack Nicholson on Mulholland Drive there in Hollywood. Okay, so let's, but I took up coloring. Because of my stress and anxiety, I had really bad PTSD from things that happened to me. And I, um, when I was in the hospital, actually I was in the hospital because of the, my anxiety and my, and I got divorced and got all freaked out and just, you know, life in general. And when I was in the hospital, um, I discovered these adult coloring books because they give you art therapy there. I was in the hospital for two weeks. That's kind of a long time, but I, I needed it um, just for my mental health. I, I got divorced after 16 years of being married. and um, I was 32 at the time, and I just, uh, you know, was having a hard time. And so, uh, when I, like I say, when I was in there, my favorite part... I like the I like the groups, you know, you go to group and you talk about 
your problems and then they try to give you ideas about better ways to deal with them than drinking or in my case I used to cut myself I'm, I'm honest uh, you know and I I uh, I'm all healed from all that, but and that's why I like to tell people, you know, you you can't get better. You could fight the anxiety and you could fight that depression and the and 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 live a nice, happy life. You just, I mean, everybody goes through traumas in life, and I had so many people die. At, I mean, it was just horrible, and I just, I don't know, I just got really hard. But anyway, when I was there. Like I discovered this, these they had these coloring, and you go in for about an hour into the little art and craft room, and they had the mandalas in there, um, and they had because everyone that's in these in the hospital or they're all in different levels of their you know recovery or whatever, and um, some people are they're on medication and it's too hard for them to do anything detailed like this, but they would just give markers and just even those little round mandalas. Uh, because then you don't really have to think that hard, you know, and if you're on medication, you just color. But it was very, very good therapy, and I, I really loved it, and that's how I got started into this. And then I just said, hey, I'm pretty good at it. And I would do arts and craft shows, and just it got me out of the house, and so now I'm doing these videos for you all and I love it and so I still do it I do I color every, every day pretty much I have a gift basket and flower company that I run it um, it's called the gift basket connection gift and then a little dash and then a basket and a little dash and then connection and I've got a like a connection because I've been doing it for so many years uh, in every city in the United States. So if you need to send a gift basket or a beautiful flower arrangement, I could do that for you. Um, and it'll be hand delivered too. So I also have things that we could ship, you know, um, if you don't need it right exactly at that time, you know, give it, it takes like two days. But I could do the shipping on that also. So keep that in mind if you need to send a gift basket or flowers Valentine's Day is coming up and maybe you have a girlfriend or whatever a mom for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day alright so I'm not here to promote that believe me <laughs> I was just saying just, just for talking I guess purposes <laughs> Things just come to my mind. I'm a yapper. And I'm Italian, so hey. And German mixed together. Wow, what a combo, huh? I used to have a bad temper, but I don't anymore. I wouldn't say bad temper, but um, when I was younger, like a kid, I I was, uh, you know, uh, I was good, good. I was always good. I took care of my mother. Uh, that was kind of my job. She's an alcoholic, and she, my mom's great, like, so awesome. Believe me, the most loving, awesome person, like, ever, ever. Like, just meek, and just, but the world got to her because she is so meek, and, you know, she had a very strong mother herself, and so, but I had to take care of her my whole life, and that made me a very strong person, but it also didn't give me much of a childhood. You know, taking care of her and my little brother it was a 24-hour job. I was always worried about her, and that kind of thing. But she was, and she just died recently, so that it's really hard for me. But I'm dealing with it. Okay, let's put in a little bit of this non-photo blue now. Now this is what sets us apart: is by putting in these little these little accents. I'm just putting a very, very light amount. Just a very light, just, just a hint. Because that's, you know, again, like I say, it's those, it's that little bit of detail that makes us better. And we don't want very much because when we put the yellow over there, blue and yellow make green. But if we put the blue over where the purple is, um, it's just 
gives it a nice little, like I say, very little, just enough. See, I mean, you could see I barely put any in. Because like I say, the blue and the yellow make green and we don't really want. But we do want the, that, that definition of that color to make it look like we really took an effort. All right, now let's do the magic. We'll put this yellow in now. And just put it over the whole thing. See that, how it instantly turned into that awesome color? You might like it just like this without putting that on there. And if you do, then just leave that. And maybe um, maybe you could put, put a lighter color pink over this, like the blush pink or a deco pink over here if you want to, if you want to keep it, um, like if you like that color. I, like I say, just take a light pink and put it over there. But since I already did those little flowers with this, I'm just going to... I'm going to go with this look for this flower. I'm not going to do this to all the flowers, but just on this flower. Hannah colored one, and it was kind of similar to these colors, so I it's kind of where I got the color palette idea from a little bit. She she did it with the purple hair. I kind of, and I liked it, so I'm trying it with my own colors, of course. But okay, now um, in the middle um, here, let's do. Uh, I don't I don't think I want it blue. Let's just put the yellow since we already have the yellow out. Let's just put yellow in the middle. Of here. Okay. Okay, so we got the nice yellow and then um, for the base, let's see, what should we put on for the base? Should we do the dark purple? I guess. Alright, let's try this dark purple. Just to come up. Just on a couple of these. Just, just giving the base a little bit of a definition with that dark. I might even put some black on the bottom, huh? Give it some real definition, maybe. I'll, let me look. I'll look at it as soon as I'm done with this and see. It gives it, I know, that's nice. Gives a nice little depth to it, doesn't it? Which is what we want, the drama. Put a little in here. Maybe a little in this one. Okay, maybe a little in here. There. Uh, maybe a little bit more in this one. There. Ooh, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so there we have it. That looks nice, huh? Aren't you proud of yourself how that's coming out? Okay, um, now I think what we need to do is let's do, since we have this yellow out, let's do some of these leaves in here. Um, um, I gotta sharpen my pencil, sorry. <laughs> Okay, see? Oh, nice sharp, nice sharp pencil. Okay, let's do some of these leaves in here. So we got to get to those. Just, we have the yellow out, so we might as well just put them on the tips here. Put them on the tips. This one maybe down here. This is just kind of where the sun hits the leaves. Same way we did over here. Just put the colors in. Okay. And I 
that most people would fast forward the video. I hope that you like it when I just keep it real like this. Because I could very easily just stop and speed this up, but then it wouldn't be like we're doing it together. So I'm just going to... Keep it like this. All right. So I'm just. Let's see what. What's in here? This is. Uh, I don't know. I can't really tell. So I'm just gonna maybe just do a couple of these. In yellow here. I don't think it's hair. It could be, but either way, I'm just gonna do yellow. Okay. And over here. Okay, maybe a little over here. Just in accents, you know, in little spots. Okay. Might as well just finish it up and I tend to do that, you know, once I have the one color out, I won't do one leaf at a time. I'll just, you know, since the color's already in my hand, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there on all of them. Just Okay, there. Hopefully you've, you're doing it with me, so you're probably in the same set spot as me. Okay, and I think I'll put some up here on this top, whatever that is, up here. Yeah, I don't think it's here, but I don't know what it is, but I'm going to just put some in there. Okay, so now... What we need to do is we need to take out some, uh, we need a greens. So actually, let's do, um, I'm going to grab these, these ones here. These, I, we were using these before. Um, the, this was the, uh, these were the greens that we were using before. Artichoke, Green Ochre, the Espresso, and the Marine Green. These were the same kind of ones that we were using. So I'm just going to keep using, uh, the same one. So let's take, let's we'll start with this artichoke color and just kind of put it where the yellow is not and maybe up a little bit into the yellow just, you know, to blend it. And just put them on all the leaves and in this little weird area. I won't say weird, but you know what I mean. It's like an area here with some lines. Put it over here. Here. Just follow along and just do the same thing. I'm just filling it in in the empty spots and then um, and then kind of a little bit into the yellow also because, you know, you want to blend it in. You don't want anything stark, drastic changes. So I just... See, I'm just... It's pretty, this make a pretty leaf color. I thought I was going to make these into a brighter green. Remember I was telling you about the that technique that I use where like I would if I put a blue and then the yellow that make a green, but it it's really bright. That's if I'm doing a really really bright vivid. But this one's going to is more dark cuz she's kind of like a fantasy girl. So I don't think I'm going to do that on these. going to stick with this look here. And see in here too there's some little lines. 
empty spots. I'm just going to fill that in with green. Right in here. More. Just do the same thing. Just follow along. Try not to think about the worries of the world. Just think about what you're doing. Think about how your pencil feels in your hand. And how nice it's going to come out. Maybe start thinking about a place where you're going to hang it. <laughs> huh? I know where I'm going to hang this one. In my guest bedroom. I have a spot. I call it the Paris room. I decorated it all like Paris in there. We call it the Paris room. I've got all that frilly, uh, you know, it's pink and white, and um, I got those little. They had Ross again. Those little, like diamonds. They look like diamonds. And it's a lamp, and it's got all these really pretty crystals on it. And then I got a makeup table in there with all this pretty stuff. And I think she'll look good in the Paris room. Okay, uh, let's see. This in here looks like that should be a green. And because uh, it goes around the flower here. And then let's do... Maybe I'll take my camera one of these days and take you a little tour of my house. That way when I'm coloring you'll know. You'll kind of know what my house looks like and where I'm sitting. What my little art area looks like. But right now I have my camera. Not really. It's not really mounted. It's hard. To, it was really hard for me to figure out how to do this camera thing. Believe me, it's not easy. And uh, I have a. It's on like a little tripod, but it's leaning forward so that I could get more of an overhead type of look. And I have it tacked with a little string to the wall so that it's leaning forward. It's pretty funny. I'll show it to you sometime. But the filming thing, you know, it's kind of a big deal. You got to film it. You got to edit this. It's not like, I mean, I just wanted to color and say, okay, can I show you? But there's a lot involved. It took me like a year, really, seriously, like about a year to figure out, you know, what camera and how to do the editing. And it's like, you can't just be an artist. You got to be a film editor too now. All right. So there, how does that look? Pretty good. Right, let's go out a little bit. Okay, so hopefully yours is coming along just as good. Now let's take um, the green ochre, okay, which is a little bit darker because we were just using um, artichoke. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to put in some of the detail now. And this just go um, more towards the bottom. This is where we get our back again with the with the drama. You know, we want. To take our time, and we want everything. To we want this to come out good. And we're not just one color people where we just, you know, slap it on. We're we take time on every little leaf, right? Just take your time, and and it'll be totally worth it. It's not boring. I mean, it's a little monotonous because there's so many leaves, but you just. Don't care about that. Take each individual leaf. I think it's got its own little personality, which it does. And just give it love. Give each one love. And it doesn't matter how monotonous. Don't even think of it like that. Just think about how pretty it looks. Just do every one. But leave the tips because we want and, and leave some areas. Don't cover the whole thing. We still have more greens to put on, so. Okay. Just put your colors in nicely. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. See, that's what it's about. It's just about, here, see? My nice coffee little cup here. It's just about enjoying yourself. Having time with yourself alone. 
and me because you're coloring with me <laughs> right so just color along with me and just have fun have a beautiful day or night depending on when you're doing this so I'm just putting this in here a little bit in here maybe a little in here okay just take your time Usually, if I was doing this by myself, I would have something going in the background, you know, like a TV or... I watch LMN. I call it LMN, Lisa's Movie Network. <laughs> I like watching that. So sometimes I'll have that, that show going in the background, or I'll have King of Queens, or Everyone Loves Raymond, or Two and a Half Men, or Friends, or, or Hallmark Channel, or something going. Dr. Oz in the day. Whatever, just something going in the background to when I'm coloring. But in this case, I just have my own voice. I feel like I'm talking to myself because you're. That's why I want to do that Facebook Live. That would be really fun. Because then we're all actually really, really live together. So try to find my Facebook page if you can. I, I think you just go to Facebook and search. You can't, if you search for Lisa Brando, that Facebook only lets me have 5,000 people, and I already, it's full, so it's hard. That, I wish that they didn't limit it, but on the on my my new group, the uh, Extreme Coloring, so I think if you just type in Extreme Coloring, and maybe my name, maybe then you'll find. But when I look at the address bar, it says Facebook.com, and then it says, there's a forward slash and then it says extreme coloring but and I just started that one because I needed more room so I'm gonna uh, use that one for uh, my coloring ones because my Lisa Brando one is more of I got a lot of fans from my mom and dad on that they're not really specifically you know colorists so that the new one is just for this. And that's where I'm going to be doing uh, some of my Facebook Live videos. As soon as I get enough people on there. Okay. There. Now, see how now see the detail is really starting to come. And you can see it's, <coughs> it's, excuse me, it's worth it to take the time to put in the detail. Uh oh, I forgot a little leaf right here. I do that. I did it on the hair in my last video. Remember I forgot little spots? You will too. You'll see. It's easy to forget. You just gotta keep keep a look at all the detail. Alright, now I think I'm I'm gonna take this uh, marine green and the marine green I'm gonna put down in the bottom and I, well, I'm not gonna put this on every leaf. I'm just just on some of them. It's kinda like a bluish green but not really. It's But it just gives it a little bit you know, changes the color a little. And I'm just, like I say, just a couple little areas. Just a couple. You know, just... Just a few, so that every leaf doesn't look exactly the same. You, you know, gotta change it up a little. Maybe I'll put this one in here. The whole thing. Okay, that's yeah, just good enough. Just a little bit. Just just for, you know, to add a different hue. Okay. And then now let's grab this one, which is the espresso. This espresso is what gives this the dark, the depth, you know, and so we definitely want that because remember me we got to have that drama and this is what does that see already see what it's doing here 
see that? Let's go, uh, see, right in here, how it, it really makes a really nice effect. That Espresso is a great color. It's like a greenish, olive -y. It's a really good blending color. So try to remember this in your, in your little swatch book. This, these colors because they make nice leaf colors. Depending on what look you're after. I mean some of the pictures I'll do different types of leaves but this one oh, I like this color choice. Alright so we'll just come in here and see I like I left that right there. See that nice little spot? And that's what you want to do. You want to leave some of the areas with that highlight highlight there really is what creates that awesome the awesomeness I call it awesomeness is awesomeness a word yeah it's cold it's just the worst hope my son's okay he's ammonia is, is nothing to that's it's a dangerous thing I was worried I had that. I had a 104 temperature and I mean it's very dangerous. My my brother Christian Brando, he died of pneumonia. So it's nothing to mess around with. I didn't go to the doctor, but I don't feel that I don't I mean I feel like I'm on the mend, you know, but I took some echinacea and stuff like that. Echinacea is like a natural antibiotic. I and I took uh, Airborne, and I took Zycam, some zinc, you know, some natural stuff. Okay, see, so I'm just kind of putting it in here. Let's see, maybe in this area here. Can use a little, huh? Just to give it a nice definition. Okay, that looks... It looks like it would be shadowy underneath this little petal, right? So we'll put the little petal like that, okay? And then we'll... Okay, so let's get up in here. We're going to come right up here on this side now and get a couple more of this with this espresso. Just put it right in here close to the where the... What's it called? The, this little leaf... The vein, little leaf vein. So we're going to come up here, all right, and come around, and like I say, it's the same thing with the other leaves, I just got to put the time in and the effort to really Oh, your family and your friends, when they see this, are going to be so proud of you, aren't they? I hope you're proud of yourself. That's the main thing, is to be proud of yourself. But it is fun, to, you know, not to show it off, but just to proudly display your work. And, and then, you know, people say, oh, wow. It feels good when you get compliments. Because, you know, we're working hard on this picture. You deserve compliments. Right? Who doesn't like a good compliment? Alright. Actually, some people, believe it or not, have a hard time accepting compliments. It's, it's, it's what makes the world so unique. Everybody's different. Me, I feel good when I get compliments. Like when you guys write stuff to me, I I, I wait. And when I public, when I put my videos up, I I like wait for all the comments. It's like my favorite thing to do, besides actual coloring. But I love the comments. It makes me feel so good. Even the bad ones, because then I learn from it. You know, I try not to let the bad bad ones get to me. But I do get some bad ones saying. that I would color too fast or you know 
something like that or when I was first starting my, my filming really sucked but those got to me a little bit but I just figured oh well you know got to take the good with the bad and I am learning you know I mean this filming thing isn't easy because I'm kind of crammed up in one little small section in order to get this filmed and so it's not the most comfortable position and then sometimes when I get to coloring I won't look up or whatever and I'll, I won't be the picture won't be in the frame so I mean there's gotta pay attention when you're doing this this filming thing is not easy okay so there now but see you see the drama the, the drama though by when you put that dark in there I mean anybody could just you know make a quick little picture and not have have that and that's fine it, I mean whatever if that's whatever if that's what people want that's great I'm just saying I want I like to be I like to strive to be really really good awesome you know I, That's why I, my, they, these sections are called extreme coloring because these aren't quick and easy. These are, you know, more professional on the professional side. You know, where you're taking it, you're taking your coloring level up and quite a few notches. <laughs> you know, and not everybody wants to do that. So that's why my group is pretty unique. That's why the Facebook group would be really fun because, you know, we're, the way we color is very, very detailed and we take the time and the patience and, you know, we're special. All right, so here we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Hope, and I'm sure, you know, if you're following me along with these colors, yours looks just as good like this. All right, now in the in these little spots, we need to put that yellow, just, you know, where these little stems are. You can leave some white. You don't have to just cover the whole entire thing because the white, you know, adds a little bit of glimmer. So, like you see here, I just put it in some of the areas and, like, leaves kind of the middle, you know, some with the white, like, just, just you know. Okay. All right, let's see. Ooh, what should we do now? Well, we're already on this side, so we might as well just stick with, let's finish this side, and then we'll go over to this side. All right, so now, what color do we want this color to be? Let's see, we have this, we have this lavender out. Um, all right, let me, let me, let me figure. I'm going to put, I'm going to put some of these on a piece of paper and see what kind of color I, I think I want to do it. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I figured these colors. I know it looks like a lot of colors, but you know, that's what we are about. Um, don't be scared, it's easy. All right, so we have this lavender. So pull out a lavender. Then you have your hot pink that we've been using, your hot pink. Now I pulled out, we need an ultramarine blue, uh, 902, so get that one. And then Indian uh, indigo blue, 901, indigo for our real deep. And the black, because I know I'm going to want some black in there for the drama. And then Dahlia Purple, 1009, Dahlia Purple. Okay, so I just did it on a piece of paper like this. See what I do? I just kind of play with colors, and I just kind of see what I think I want to use. And then, um, and you do the same thing, you know, like if you want to try a different blend, just blend them together. Maybe you wanted to do a, an orange or a, you know... Um, a white magnolia or whatever, but see, I, I see see the white, it would stand out too much if I made that white, because everything else is so dark, so I feel like we'll stick with these this purple here, and I think I'll do some maybe some bright orange over here, I don't want them all the same so, anyway, that's how I feel. that's how I do it, is just on a piece of paper and uh, so, yeah, alright, let's take uh Let's start with this, the lavender color, and put in, put it right here in the base. Okay. And 
um, just basing the whole leaf, the whole leaf. Mm, make it easy because we're going to put in a lot of colors. Okay. Then um, let's just go all the way around. Might as well just base base in the whole flower. Okay. And again, I could speed this up and then just come back and have it already be done. But what's the point? I mean, if you're coloring with me, we might as well just color together. So I'm just going to leave it on and do it the same way you'd be doing it. The way you feel you're not alone. You're coloring with me, right? And that is really cool. And then you know what real time really is, because we're really doing this in real time. There's no, I'm not speeding anything up. I'm just coloring it along. That's why I have to do this video in so many parts. And I gotta take a break too sometimes. I go to the bathroom or whatever. Like right now, I'm having a sip of my coffee, but I'm not gonna stop the video. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do this one yet, so I'm just going to work on this one flower. All right, now let's take a little bit of the hot pink and just kind of towards the middle, maybe, in the middle area. I'm not even going to go up to the top. I'm just going to put it just in the middle. Just blend it, blend it in to the top, but not don't go all the way to the top, just the middle part with this hot pink. Just... And again, that's to keep us different. I mean, yeah, we could just leave it that one color, but if we do, it's it's having these, these multiple of layers is what really makes our picture just look so professional and so like, wow, you know, we, we want the wow factor. That's what we're after. All right, now let's take this blue, okay? And what we want to do with the blue is we want to create a, uh, like, you know, the, the nice interest in the leaf with this blue. So I'm going to make some, like, open, like, you know, like the little, the lines, the leaf, the what are they, little, like little veins or something, whatever. And I'm just gonna go around like this. And then maybe underneath here, maybe we got a little bit of, now I'm shading that in a little bit so it looks like it's coming down, you know, because there's a shade under here. Bring up the blue here. And now you're going to take your time and make a nice... Okay. Shade it. This is a, it's a little it was a little it's a little trickier you know to get that that little look but you just you could do it you just put it in and just remember you can always go darker so just put it in light at first go underneath this little area give a little shade see how I put it here I'm gonna go in put a little shade underneath this little here. You know, add a little oomph to it. Okay, and then, and then darken, darken these little where she has the. She kind of sets it out for us, where the little 
vain things are. Let's go up. And go up. Flick it. Like, just kind of flick it up like this, you know. See how I'm flicking? Because then it makes the tip look nice. Okay. See how I'm flicking? The little flicking motion, it gives that uh, like a wispy type of a look. And that's what leaves, leaves have that, you know, little wisps, they're little, kind of like when I do gems, you know, like little facets, little cracks, little, just come around, just like this, okay. Okay, and then uh, in here we probably want to come up, leave that, this is bending up, so since it's bending up, let's keep that little bent look come up there, in here probably, so it looks a little, see it's because this is light and where the tip is bending. Okay, and then let's do it in here. And we'll come up, around. You can always go darker, so just start, because, you know, this is pretty dramatic. So you don't want to mess it up, you just Put it in nice and light, and then you can always go back and add darker to it. Like I'm doing in here, you know, I could see, okay, I want it a little bit darker, so I'm going to be putting some black in there too, I think. Okay, so now we got the bat in there. Now, um, I think let's put in, this is uh, the Dahlia Dal uh, Purple, and I'm going to put some of that in here and come up over the blue again with the so we're layering we want that layered effect okay see see it's caught making a really nice uh, color when you put that this purple over the blue see yes. just going over the blue a little with it and then come come up a little bit some to, on some of them if you come up over over and go up into the pink then well, you could really you could see the, the purple um, again it adds more of that the drama to the picture see just just put it in there all right, there, huh? Look and see how pretty that's looking. Just gotta take your time and put it in. Just like I'm doing. Just follow along with me. You could totally do this. Don't even get discouraged. You could see how easy it is. It's just just a matter of just put the color in and flick your hand up. Like just flick it and just. Think like a leaf, <laughs> the way the leaf's growing, you know. It's okay, the leaf is growing this way, so come along with the way we put the lines and just make little lines, just, just little lines. 
see, just like that. Okay, and like in here, if you say, okay, that needs a little more, and then you could just put some more in. Okay, I just added a little bit more in there so that it looked, you know, I didn't want it quite so stark on the edge, so just put a little to make it the blend come in nicely. Maybe a little down here. Kind of forgot about this little tip here. So I'm gonna give this a little love. See, I don't leave anything out. I put detail, you want to put detail in everything. Totally worth it, right? We've worked so hard on this picture. You know, I'm not gonna give up now. Okay, so now let's put in the indigo blue. And the indigo blue is just gonna go just towards the base because we really want it to be darker in the bottom here. And then we're even gonna further darken that up with some black, but so just keep that in mind and just go right along the edge. And that gives this little cup, like the cup area. So it looks like it's seated. Which is what we want, right? A little. Okay, now let's get the black. And then with the black, we're going to do the same thing, just stay kind of close to the, the base. And this is just a little bit. We don't need a lot, just we want to have, just so that it's, again, with the drama, you know. See how it's, see how it's just, just a little bit right there, right? A big difference. Look at the difference between here and there, okay? So that's what we want. Okay, because it gives that little shade illusion, you know. Just come right in there. Uh, maybe up in here a little. Maybe a yeah, hip in here. Give it a little. And then in here. Okay, and then uh, same thing, we got to go over here, Don't rush, just, just keep going until you get that whole base in. And then you could step away with it from it with your eye and then just look at it with like I'm in, I'm doing now. I'm looking at mine from far further, like a little bit further away and saying, okay, do I like the look of that? And I do, say, and then you say, okay, well, do you need any more um, dark or light or whatever and if you do you just it's okay maybe I want a little darker here so I just and you just play around with it until you get the look that you like okay and when you're happy with it you congratulate yourself and say wow that was a lot of work but boy that looks good maybe outline a little this black. I just kind of outlined the shade of the petal a little bit with the black just because it I don't want it to lose the the petals you know just kind of outline them outline them a little 
getting a little lost with the greens and the... Okay. All right. Yeah, pretty. Okay, in the middle of these, um, I guess let's do, uh, well, we got the yellow. Might as well. Let's put, uh, let's do a, a lighter tip. Let's take that, uh, that cream that we were using when we first started with the face or whatever. I forget where we use that cream, but let's do the tips in the cream. Just the tips, just, okay. And then while well, we got those tips in there, let's take uh, that yellow ochre, I guess, since we have it out, might as well keep a harmonious feel by having some of the same colors. Well, don't want to throw in too many colors because this is this is our palette, right? Our palette are these colors, so we want to stick with. I added a new one when I added that ultramarine blue, but a couple is good. But when you have it, when you start with the palette, it's good to just stick with it because it keeps the harmonious feel through your, throughout your picture. Okay, uh, now I think what I'm going to bring in is we do need to introduce a new color because let's try this one. Let's do um, this uh, yellowed orange, a uh, 1002 yellowed orange, and let's put that in the bottom of here of these little guys because I need uh, I don't think it's popping out enough for me and uh, let's see what else oh, let's go in tighter uh, see I just put a little orange in here I'm trying to think uh, if I need um, this, I like the tips white, but I, I need this darker. Um, let's try, uh, hold on, let me see if I like this. This is, okay, yeah, let's put this in here. This is just a regular orange, not PC9, PC918. And let's put some orange at the base. some of these just okay okay that's looking a little bit better um, I think I might put some red in here let's grab um uh, okay let's try this one this is a scarlet lake PC 923 and let's put a little bit of scarlet lake right at the bot at the bottom like that yeah, there we go. There's the fire I'm looking for. There we go. Let's put that Scarlet Lake right in that bottom. There's our drama. That's what it needed. Drama. We love the drama. Okay, and then some in here. Ooh, I like that. It's pretty. That was the drama that I was looking for. There. Drama, drama. All right. Okay. Just coming along, coming along. All right. Now what color? I don't know what color to do this one. Let's do this in an or uh, like a, an orangey, an orangey, yellowish kind of color. So let's take, um, Let's base the whole thing in that yellow that we were using. Just the whole thing. Okay. The whole thing. What the heck? Let's get this whole thing in the yellow. Makes it easier when you do that, right? This is just the undertone, so put the undertone in. This is going pretty quickly. Pretty painless, huh? Now 
my 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 frame here just ends. It's kind of like stark line. But I'm gonna cut this out and put it in an eight and a half or an eight uh, eight and a half by eleven or eight by ten frame. I think for this. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now now let's take a, a brighter yellow this time. Let's take the um, uh, canary yellow nine one six and let's put uh, this canary yellow right on the tips and we're gonna brighten this baby up some yellow right on the tips see how that brightens it up nice but we still have the yellow tone but it brightens it up and I think I'll put some of these just couple little spots okay now what we need to do is let's try some hot pink in here um, and let's go let's see this let's just go from the middle kind of in from the base up Okay. Same thing with the flicking like we like just like what we did with the blue. Just and see you probably would never think of these combinations. That's why it's good to watch videos like this because you get ideas. That's why you make the little swatches, you know, um, so that you could remember these colors when you're coloring a different picture you could say oh I, you know I remember that flower color and then pull out your little swatch book and say yeah I think I'll do it in this colors and then you'll have a little reference like your own little reference book I want to see if this is the one. Let me see. This is my. Let's see. Is, is it, I think this one is my new one. I don't have any. Yeah, this is my brand new book. But like a book like this, you know, you you would just put. Um, this is the one I got at Ross. I was telling you about. Sorry, my battery died, and I don't know exactly where in the conversation I was when it died. But I pulled out my little book here that I have, and um, this is that one I bought at Ross last night. I was telling you about. Isn't this so cute? So um, what you would do, this one's brand new, I don't have anything in it yet, but I, I, uh, I will, but I, um, I'm seeing if I have, let's see, does this one have one? I do have a book, um, see these are, those, these are the new ones that I've got, but I, I kind of want to show you one, like this for example, okay? So like, let's say I was like, uh, in our, in our, in our headpiece actually, it's, I, I remember that I used these colors for that little headpiece and I used these colors right here for these flowers here. So what I did is I just kind of drew a little sample of what it was and then I, I just put down the colors that I used for this, you know, and it just kind of remind. and this is what I used on this and I put a headpiece you know, and this is gem and the lips, you know, and I just put down um, what it what it looked like. And here's the colors for the skin. See, I just put all the little colors and right next to it, the, the actual the actual color it was with the little swatch, the deco pink. And then I wrote down what it was the day I started it, you know, that that type of thing. So but if you do that and you keep a nice journal of your of, of little things that you like, then, uh, I mean, this is a really good little uh, tip for you. I hope you enjoyed that. But it, it does help because then you can always go back and say, okay, I, you know, I want to use those colors and this colors and make a nice little collection. Okay, so back, back to it. Okay, so let's go back here now. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. It happens. And I'm just going to put some pink back in here again. But I hope that inspires you, you know, to get that little notebook out and to really... Yeah, it does help. All right, so then let's come. 
Okay, so we got that hot pink going. That looks kind of good. Um, now, I'm not sure here what color I want to put in there. All right, let's try a little bit of this orange again. Grab that yellow to orange that we had out before, the 1002, and just kind of go over that pink a little bit. Again, with the layers to get that really, you know, perfection. And I'm just lightly, just, well, actually, not, not really light. Actually, kind of like a medium, a medium touch. Over that, over the pink. Okay. There. All right. Okay, that's standing out, but it doesn't have enough flare for me. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I don't know what I want to use here. Do I want this color? Let me see. Uh, see, this is how I figure it out. You're watching it it's the same as me. I mean, this is what I'm doing to try to see. I'm just doing it in a small little area. Alright, so let's go with, uh, or maybe the, let me try the red and see if I like the red better. Um, all right, yeah, let's let's try the red. So this is that scarlet scarlet that we were using before on that other one. So I'm just gonna put the scarlet at the base. Yeah, see, I like that. All right, I like that. So let's put the scarlet. Yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. So let's put the scarlet. But you saw the process, you know, I just kind of played around in one corner until I kind of figured out what I wanted to do. Or could have done it on a piece of paper, but I'm confident enough, I guess, with my coloring. So I just put it, in, took it in a little section. Okay, now. Well. Just follow the line of where the leaves were and just put it in there. And leave the leave the light, you know, leave the lights at the tips because that's where you want the highlight. Down in here, and then we'll do this side over here. And just go the way of the leaf. Like if the leaf is flowing that, you know, follow the line of the leaf. Don't go across or, you know, follow the the actual, the grain of the leaf. Okay. All right. And now let's see what we need to do on the bottoms here. Um, I need a, what color is this? A Tuscan red. Okay. This is PC 937. Let me try a little bit of that Tuscan red right at the bottom. Do I like it? Yeah, well, why not? Let's let's do a little bit of that Tuscan red for our drama effect. I'm not putting in too much. I'm just getting a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit in there. See, I'm just putting just a little um, in some areas again for the just like our traditional style where we put the darker in, like we did with all the other flowers. But it does give it. I'm not. This shadow, this petal here is behind this petal here. So because it's behind that one, let's you want to put the dark uh, 
underneath as that's where the shade would be, right? A little underneath there. And then uh, here be the same, I guess. Put a little darker in here. Okay. And I need a little bit. We need some in here. Right in this area. Okay. There. All right. Now, um, for these middle pieces, let's. I'm gonna use the same Tuscan red and just go up the base of this flower here. Sorry. See, I told you I go out of my frame once in a while. I'm just going to go up the base of this and then I'm going to take that the red again and just come up a little bit but not all the way to the tip. Leave the tip leave the tips uh, light. Okay. There. Ooh, it's a fiery flower, isn't it? Yay. Okay, so let's come out and see our work. Look at that, huh? What do you think? You like it so far? Okay. I think I'm going to end the video here uh, because it's kind of long. So, um, uh, this was part three, so let's uh, come back and we will do part four. Thanks for hanging in with me. See you in a little bit.